Welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about the custom views in Microsoft Excel. Now, what are the custom views? We show this Excel file, whatever file you have. This Excel file is watched by different people in the company. It can be watched by managers, it can be watched by team leaders, some executives, some juniors, some freshers, some interns. Now, obviously, you cannot show everything to everybody, right? There, sh there should be some secrecy, some privacy about the data. So, let's try to understand. Uh, now, this is the Excel file. Okay, I want to show this Excel file to three people in the company. The first one is my boss, second one is my colleague and third one is my, let's say, intern. So, when an intern comes to my office, I don't want to show them the value. Okay, this is what I want to hide from that intern because he's a new person. When new person comes, you cannot show everything to them. Second, if my colleagues comes over there, I want to hide this B column and I want to hide this F column. That's my second option. And third option is I want to show everything to my boss because I cannot keep anything secret from them. So three things. One is I want to hide from intern. Second is my colleague, my competitor is there. So I want to hide value and the name because he might call my customers as well. And third one is I want to show everything to my boss and the same Excel. What today people do is they select the column, they click on hide and then they select the column like this and then they unhide. This is the method they follow. But instead of that, there's an easy method for this to do it. The name of the topic is custom views. So let's go to the view menu bar. And here, when everything is visible, we will give the name as manager view. So here we come as in the view menu bar. This option is known as the custom views. So when we click on custom views here, first of all, we can delete some existing views which are there. I have created before I started the recording part. So we have deleted now here. When every column is visible, when every row is visible, we can click on this name as manager view and click on OK. So what happens is this view is known as the manager view where I'm not hiding anything. I'm showing everything. Second view is for my intern whom I don't want to show this view, which is F column. So I select this F column, right click and hide. OK, I've hidden that column, but I'm just giving a name to this view. OK, so here it is custom view. And I can just click on add. Let me write down as manager, uh, let's say as intern view. And click on OK. So intern view, click on OK. And third one, I want to hide this column as well, which is F column, right click and hide. And this would be my uh, colleague view. OK, so colleague view, and then we can just click on OK button. So that's it. These are three views. Now, suppose my manager comes to my office. He comes to my laptop over here and I can click on custom view. I will select manager view and click on view option here, which is show. So when I do that, everything is visible for my screen. Now, when I go back to custom view and I can click on intern view, click on show button. And if you see that value column is hidden. When I go back to custom view, my colleagues co comes over here. I select colleague view, click on show and those columns are hidden. Now, you might be thinking this is so easy because why it is easy? I've made it easy for you. The data is very small. Five, six columns are there. In real time, there are 50, 60 columns. In real time, there are thousands and millions of rows. Now you cannot keep on doing it for every new person, every new time. You do the settings only one time and then every time you can use it. You can come back to view, custom view, select the option, manage view, click on show. Now it was only two columns. Imagine if I ask you to hide 20 columns which are not important for, let's say, intern or colleague. So you have to be very smart and do the setting before even they come to your laptop. Okay, so that's how you can do the custom view option. So that's it. I hope you have understood about the uh, custom views in Microsoft Excel. That's all for this video.